Hello. The purpose of this instruction is to demonstrate how to initiate a new screening in the Clearinghouse Results website. If you don't yet have access to the Clearinghouse Results website, you must first register on the portal and receive access. Please see the Clearinghouse User Registration Guide for registration and login instructions at http colon forward slash forward slash aca dot myflorida dot com slash background screening. The search page allows you to review the eligibility status of an individual if they have undergone a screening or if they have a screening in process in the clearinghouse. If the individual is not found, a screening may be initiated from this page. If the individual is found, their profile page will appear. To search for an individual, you must enter the individual's social security number and last name or date of birth. It is recommended that you only put either the last name or date of birth. Then select Search. If the individual has a screening in the Clearinghouse Results website, their profile page will appear. If an individual is not found in the Clearinghouse Results website, the message, a new screening result for this individual was not found in the Clearinghouse Results website, you may initiate a screening by selecting the Initiate Screening button will appear in red. To initiate a new screening for an individual, select the Initiate Screening button. On the next page, you will be prompted to enter the demographic information of the applicant. Enter all required information as designated by the red asterisk. Please note that the height and weight limits are set by the Florida Department of Law. If an applicant falls outside of the established limits, please select the closest match. Please ensure all information is accurate and then select the next button. The next step is to select position and confirm privacy policy. To ensure the appropriate criteria is applied during the screening review, the position type and reason for screening the individual must be entered. First, select the provider that the individual has applied to work for from the drop-down list. Please note the provider drop-down will only display if you are accessing the website on behalf of multiple providers. Select the position that the individual is applying for from the drop-down list. Select the Privacy Policy link to view and print the Privacy Policy. Please have the applicant sign the Privacy Policy and retain the form in their personnel file. Check the affirmation box to confirm the applicant has signed and agreed to the privacy policy. Then select Next. On the next page, you can select a live scan service provider and make an appointment. To search, you may enter a name, city, county to locate a live scan service provider in your area. You may also select Search to view the entire list. After you have selected the live scan service provider you would like to use, select the Make Appointment button to schedule an appointment with that service provider. While the website will be unique for each service provider, they will all provide the ability to enter the social security number to pre-populate all demographic information for the applicant. Once you schedule an appointment with the service provider, Close the Make Appointment window to return to the Clearinghouse Results website. To complete the screening request, select Submit. Please contact the service provider with any questions about their Make Appointment page. If you choose not to make an appointment at this time, you still must select Submit to complete the screening request. Once the screening request is submitted, a Live Scan request form will be generated for the applicant to take to their screening appointment. The request form contains important information, including the following. The ORI number required for electronic fingerprint submission. The screening request ID used by LiveScan service providers to link the screening results to the screening request. 
and appointment information if an appointment was scheduled during the live scan step. Select Home if you are done or Initiate New Screening to initiate a screening for another individual. This concludes our training on how to initiate a new screening on the Clearinghouse Results website. Please select Contact Us at the bottom of the webpage for any questions. Thank you.